Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about the crossing points analysis, which is one of the powerful features of InfraWizard. A crossing point is a point at which two pipes cross over each other. It appears in plan view as an intersection point between the two pipe elements. When you create new pipes, either from AutoCAD entities or by importing networks, InfraWizard directly analyzes the crossing points between the newly created pipes and all other pipes that already exist in the project. For example, if I create a new pipe here, let's say in a new network called DM, you'll notice that InfraWizard has directly added new annotations at all crossing points between this pipe and the other existing pipes. The crossing annotation indicates the network name, the pipe size, and the invert level of each of the two crossing pipes, and the net clearance between them. At this point, for example, we have the first pipe from SD network, with 300 mm diameter in this invert level. And this is the higher pipe, so it comes first in the annotation. The lower pipe is from network existing SW. It is 630 mm diameter, with this invert level. And here is the value of net clearance. The clearance value represents the vertical distance between the outer top of the lower pipe and the outer bottom of the higher pipe, so it takes the pipe thickness into consideration. InfraWizard will always do this kind of analysis while you create new pipes and will annotate every crossing point automatically. One thing to bear in mind is that InfraWizard will not consider crossing points between pipes in the same network because it assumes that the pipes in the same network should be connected to each other and not crossing over each other. For example, if I create another pipe here in the network called DM, you'll see that InfraWizard has added new annotations at the new crossing points, except the one from the two pipes from the same network, DM. What makes crossing analysis in InfraWizard very efficient is that these crossing annotations are automatically updated when you make any change to the networks. For example, if I move this node, you'll notice that the crossing annotation was updated to point to the new crossing location, and the net clearance value is updated based on the pipe levels at this point. Also, if I edit the pipe invert levels, for example, raising this pipe by 1 meter, you'll find the net clearance is automatically updated. A clearance value of zero means that the two pipes are physically interfering with each other. In other words, we have a hard clash. If I update this profile, you'll see what I mean. These are the two clashing pipes. You'll notice a command button here called Refresh Crossings. You need to use this command only when you change the coordinate system of the drawing. For example, if I change the UCS this way, All crossing annotations will look disoriented. When I click Refresh Crossings, the annotations will be realigned to match the current UCS. What I'm trying to tell you is that this command doesn't change the content of crossing annotations because they're always up to date. It only restores the default location of the annotations to be aligned with the current UCS. You can also notice that if I move any annotation, the leader of it remains pointing to the exact position of the crossing point, so you can freely move the colliding annotations to make the drawing more readable. Now let's take a minute to see how to control the display of crossing annotations. This is done through the crossing points analysis settings. In this panel, you can select which crossings to be annotated and control the annotation format. First, you can select the network combinations for which you want to display crossing annotations. You have here all possible combinations of the pipe networks in the project. Only the combinations in the displayed list will be annotated. You can easily move combinations between the two lists using these arrows or by double-clicking its name. If I want to hide all annotations, for example, I'd select all combinations and move them to the list of undisplayed combinations. If you have a large number of networks in the project, it will be easier to use this button to select combinations related to a certain network. For example, if I want to show only the crossing annotations related to the network SD, I can select all combinations of SD network, then move them to the displayed list. 
In this way, I can check all crossing points between the network SD and all other networks. This is not the only option, however, to control the display of crossing annotations. The local codes and standards usually require a certain clearance value to be satisfied between pipes at the crossing points, especially between a sewage pipe and a potable water pipe. InfraWizard will help you with doing this by displaying only the crossing annotations at which this clearance is not satisfied. To do this, I'll first check the option Show Critical Crossings Only, which means that only problematic crossing points should be annotated. I'll then set the value of critical clearance here, say 0.5 meters. Once I click OK, all crossing annotations will disappear except those which have a clearance value less than 0.5 meters. And if I change this value to 0.2, for example, you'll notice that these two annotations will directly disappear. But if I change the invert levels of this pipe in a way that makes it violate the required clearance, a new annotation will appear again. This feature gives you a handy tool to keep track of all crossing points in the project while developing your design. The last option here lets you select the multi-liter style and the text height that are used in crossing annotations. I can set it to a larger height, for example, if I have a large drawing and want to spot a few crossings quickly. That was an interesting session, I think. In the next video, you'll learn about the analysis of low and high points for pressure networks, which will help you in finding the suitable locations of air release and drain valves. We'll see you then.